Oswe Akwabio, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, has been removed as the leader of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC in Akwa Ibom State. The All Progressive Congress in Akwa Ibom State made the announcement at, at its second stakeholders meeting in Uyo, the Sun reported. The State Caretaker Committee Chairman Ita Udosen said the state leadership status conferred on Akwabio by a faction of the All Progressive Congress has been formally nullified. According to Vanguard, the chapter in a communique explained that going by its constitution, the state chairman is the head of the party caucus in the states. The All Progressive Congress noted that it is therefore a violation of its constitution for any faction to confer leadership status on Akwabio. The APC said that the party hereby reminds every member and the general public that the state chairman or caretaker chairman as applicable here is the chairman of the state caucus as provided by provided for in article 12.9 sub 1 of the party constitution october 2014 as amended and remains the party leader in the state until further notice members of the chapter similarly declare all party factional leaderships at different stakeholders meeting null and void as a means of bringing peace and sanity to the party ahead of 2023 general elections. In another report, a former deputy governor of Oyo State, Taufik Arakwaja, has won the Southwest membership seat of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. PM News reports that Arakwaja was declared winner of the Holti, Holti contested poll by the chairman of the Congress and Benue State deputy governor, Benson Abono on the evening of monday april 12th it was gathered that the former deputy governor who belongs to the camp of Oyo state governor shei Makin, they polled 343 votes to defeat eddie olafeso who scored 330. the national the nation also reported that olafeso is of the camp of former ekiti governor ayofayo she olafeso later considered defeat and promised to work with arapaja he said, the storm is over. There is a new beginning for our party. We've to, we have to thank God Almighty that despite odds, there is a new beginning for our party. The time is now. I thank everybody who supported me. Arapaja, the new PDP National Vice Chairman, Southwest. Thank God. Thank Governor Makinde and the ex-Governor Fayoshe about the outcome of the Congress. Arapaja said, we will work together and move the party forward we want to reposition the party i will work with my brother Ola Feso, to achieve our aims in line with the reports the journey to congress had been bumpy with several failed attempts to reconcile the two factions adding that it ended with litigation which impeded the conduct of the election in march while governor Makinde rejected Ola Feso, who just left the position Fayoshe insisted Olafeso must be returned. Meanwhile, the Director General of the Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, Sally U. Lukman, has called on the Acting National Chairman of the Ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Governor May Malaboni, to roll out the timetable for the Congress that would culminate the party's national convention. Daily Trust reports that he also described as needless the extension of on the ongoing membership registration, revalidation, and update register existence. It was gathered that the PGF boss told the Ketika committee not to contemplate any tenor elongation. Lukman, in a statement titled APC Litmus Test in Abuja on Monday, April 5th, lamented that some of the challenges in the party which led to the dissolution of the former National Working Committee, led by Comrade Adam Soshomole, were yet to be addressed by the Ketika Committee. The PGF boss maintained that democratic principles require that initiatives being implemented by the Ketika Committee are based on decisions taken by competent organs as provided in the constitution of the party. He, however, lamented that the party fell short of the aforementioned principles. Lukman further alleged that most decisions taken so far by the Ketika Committee were done by the chairman. Mimala Muni and the secretary, Akpan Udedehe. Okay. This is how they always rule. Uh, give good governance. Not life. Nothing will happen.
good governance, nothing will happen. Just go enjoy the party and begin to enjoy the Nigeria, Nigeria money. That's it. They are not there for anything. They are just there. It's just a carcass. And if you don't belong to that carcass, so be it. But as far as the governance is concerned, forget it. They are doing nothing. They are not ready for anything, no matter what. Well, I think the new one now is that Akpabio has been removed. Faction, faction, faction. These guys are not serious. That's it. They are not serious at all. You sold your bed right because of a pot of porridge. Porridge jam. Sorry, Oga. Akpabio. Enemies of Akpabio. Haba. He constructive. Be constructive. Oh, he made a quiet bomb like UK. Hmm. With his money. I don't know. You better go back to PDP now. Or... Oh, use and dumb. Serves him right. I love this. Just look at the way you guys are disgracing and fighting yourselves. Is this still the fullness that are causing it? Nonsense. Hmm. A prophet don't have respect in his own domain. They are disgracing themselves and not... Uh, and not um, um, nah. Man with good spirit to do good things for his people. Honorable God, so Akpabio, do what you want to do. You can't stop him. Akpabio, how markets? Okay, Osho second. They don't clip Baba wings. God no go shame or so. Akpabi will run to APC to cover his sins. Don't worry. EFCC will soon unveil your case file. God at work in Nigeria. They must be used and dump dump items and jail with uh, will be their last home. Hmm. Akpabi will never see yet. More are coming. You will be disgraced as of Akpabi. Uh, Disgrace out. Akwabio is among the most precious politicians in Nigeria. Woe betide you, Akwabio. Governor Wike warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Be careful, Mr. Man. Akwabio's sack is long overdue. In the midst of failure, there's always elevation. Watch out. APC is useless party. It's a useless party that came to destroy Nigeria and they have, um, they have succeeded. No good governance at all. No security, hunger everywhere. Enemies of Akwabi, Haba, be constructive, oh, he made Akwai bomb like UK. The BDP, so they, they repair the country. All of them, they're just deceiving ourselves. All of them, they destroyed every, everything. And that is why it is easy for them to jump from one party to another. It's just like you are entering parlor and room, room and parlor, like that. And they don't see anything wrong in it. Tomorrow, if PD, if uh, Tinubu says he's going to join PDP, ah, they will still clap for him. Hey, that is it. They are not ready for anything. They're, they are not ready for good governance. It's just good to go, to go there and chop and claim us. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. People are seeing all these things from uh, different perspective. What do you think? Let us know.